What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off up our last time, we fought a... another siege outside, outside Zagreb in the last part, and this time we are actually going to intercept the Russians. Um, so they are attacking us, technically, but we are going to go on the offensive because why the hell not? I think it'll be fun. So let's do it. Good attack. Um, well, I can't attack the Iroquois actually because they're my allies. I was getting confused between my campaigns. So, situation in my Ottoman campaign, and I'm not going to attack them because why open myself up to more potential trouble? Not necessarily through the Iroquois themselves, but through the diplomatic allies. And I'm more than happy just to wait for their wait for their regions to rebel, and I can claim it myself. And that is a beautiful spot for an artillery park. Beautiful. So let's give them some sort of guard. So we've got four infantry units. The bulk of my other infantry. Very elite bulk of my infantry. It's going to advance down the, straight down the, straight down the middle towards the enemy, supported by quite a big battery of howitzers. Stay unlimited for now. Okay, so let's pick up my dragoons and some lifeguards. Put them on this flank. Lifeguards and hussars on the right flank. General in the centre. I'm sure these guys aren't my. These guys don't have. Guns. God, our artillery just opened up and wrecked house. So we've got a very small elite force of infantry which are going to push up. I can see their artillery on the other side pushing, their cavalry pushing up on the left. Let's get involved. These are lances, so don't may as well not let them have a chance to, to get involved. Life guards push in. All these infantry do not fire at will. My hussars go straight past and hit the blunderbuss shotgunners. All my artillery hit the Kalmuks. And the artillery, the cavalry on the left hit the Kalmuks. I can see them putting down spikes in response. Just right click them for a second just to get a few more kills and then pull them back. Same with you guys, quite exposed. So I'm going to pivot the, this flank just so they don't keep shooting at my cavalry. Get the mortars unlimbered, get the general in position. I've got to be more than enough to handle these guys. Okay, let's push up this one with infantry. You guys go that way. You guys will be somewhat alone. Oh, you guys fall back. Should we really be directing my artillery fire a bit more? Smash 
my lifeguards into those into those fusiliers because they will die immediately. You guys form square. You guys get out of square into the line. Let's get the artillery to pound this flank here. I mean, this cavalry is doing a fantastic job of holding us up. And they've also deployed a crap load of stakes, so need to really be careful about how I push up. So let's get my Hussars ch to chase down this Fusilier unit. My lifeguards smash into the horse grenadiers, I suppose. Let's do something like this. It's not so. E it's not even easy to chase down the enemy on this flank. Okay, fall out of position, or at least retreat away from these guards who will be tempted to try and annihilate you. I need a new mouse to my middle click. I normally I like to do middle click for this sort of thing. You, know, middle, you click your middle mouse button in and you just scooch them around so you get a good view on pretty much it. Well, I think it's pretty good, but I can't actually... This mouse is really starting to die on me. Can I break off my dragoons? So those men should get low down pretty quick. I'm trying to knock out this cavalry unit, although it might actually be quite handy to do something like this. The real job of these dragoons is to hit those fusiliers. Kill some of these routing units. Or attempt to do sufficient damage as to persuade them to not come back. So these are all fusiliers and lots of units. Why are you not just attacking the general's bodyguard? That's what I've Quick climb the crap out of that engineer unit. No, don't you stand the Strutsky. Come over here after these foot units. My heart is all gonna drop. Quick climb on this big blob of guards, grenadiers. No, these are guards. Foot guards, engineer units. Come out of square. Oh no, you may have to charge down that guard unit. Let's turn off all the artillery from attacking you. These fusiliers are doing a wonderful job of failing to rout, so when these guys rout, you're going to go after that foot line infantry. General sat there not really doing much, but now it's just a... Now we play the cavalry game. So this is heavy cavalry, so we should be chopping the heck out of them. Hmm. Um, 
Let's continue. Let's turn off the howitzers for now. Let's just speed up time. Oh no. They're going to route, so may as well help kill another unit here. I think, the, I think this, yeah, this is the only unit left on the battle, and they're on the battle map, and they are dead. So that army has been destroyed. Awesome. The only lost 400 men. Okay, let's push them back. We will give them cause to wonder whether it is wise to fight the mightiness of the 13 colonies. Don't worry, Mughal Empire, I've not forgotten about you either. Okay, got some farms that can be built in Italy. There is a port in this region that has Light infantry developed. doctrine it's upgrade. Georgetown. I forgot we're at war with Russia, so let's take you guys. Scoot General here and a Roger Johnson. I mean you may as well just Take Proud and victorious. Savannah. Now we are at war with them. Let's open up a trade port. We're already converting them. Sweet. But our main focus is up here in Europe. So let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade the shipyard. Upgrade the government building. You guys need to replenish once more, even more, because they were already deplenish replenishing. Now I have to replenish them again. Okay, I really, really hope you guys don't march south and instead march west. But let's recruit some. I don't want light cavalry sharpshooters. Regiment of horse, there we go. And let's start to fill up on some line infantry to build up another force. Because we've had a couple of bouts. You guys aren't actually that depleted. So you guys put Vienna under siege. Oh, to be honest, we could try to take it. We've got a garrison mortar, but we've got loads of stuff. Yes. I think we might do it. Let's take Vienna. Because we've got it so there is no... There should be less of a risk. We should be able to punch lots of holes. The idea is to make as many... If we can make as many breaches as possible, then the more likely we are for me to be able to run a cavalry unit in to go kill their mortars. Because we might be about to bring a whole lot of pain against us. What I might do actually is do something like this. So let's take just you guys and the other guys. You go form another breaching division. I don't want to make too many breaches all over the place. No, it will be handy to have one over here. Probably something like here. Marines, Guards and Grenadiers. Hold up back here. These guys will be going in the front. Heavy horse howitzer artillery. This is going to be what brings down the pain. Because from here they can drop shells right into the centre. Mortar batteries not quite so much. With a round shot, they can they can drop shells onto the onto the wall itself. And my general's bodyguard hold still. Blow a hole in the wall. Heavy horse howitzers try and go after their garrison. You guys go for a section of the wall towards the back. Can 
You guys, no. You guys can't drop quick climb. To be honest, it would probably be... Mortars are engaging. They're just going to be dropping shells down onto the wall here in general. Yep. Doing a bit of general purpose damage. The reinforcements coming in from way back there. Well, I've just realised I have I have no actual cavalry to take advantage of the of a hole if I made one towards the rear. So I may as well just make another one slightly pointed towards the centre. So let's, let's triple speed it because right now it's just a big game of shooting rocks. It's more or less what we've got going on here. Especially as we're, we're bringing the walls down in sort of equal amounts, like the, the mortars are actually doing an okay job. So 67, 49. Let's get the houses on to hit. <laughs> so you're not down there, HQ building. This section of the wall is about to be destroyed. As is that section, so you might actually get some decent traps on the walls. Yeah, there we go. So these men may as well keep hitting the centre. Then these guys get the awesome job of just quick climbing the hell out of the defending units. Now let's overwhelm them with so many targets to shoot at, they can't actually focus on any individual... on any individual sector. So I doubt our artillery before made much of a difference. No, we've got one kill. Whereas here, we're going to really thin out the breaches while we push out. So let's speed up time, because right now we're just dropping just dropping quick line shells onto everyone. Okay, no, okay, that's so the mortars are now firing. Artillery run. Oh, artillery run. Infantry run. So let's move my mortars forward. I have them set on to quick climb already because I want to be able to move them into quick climb range. Explosive shots. So they're focusing on this unit, so I want to get a unit of marines up on the wall. The general's been killed by friendly fire? Looks like it. He's on fire. So they're going to climb the walls. You guys are God, no, they're already open. Weirdly. Get in. These guys get their asses in gear as well. Let's get some guys to still climb the wall. So it looks like it's still going to be Required. Let's get to the walls. Damn, it's a big block of light. Okay, no. So that's. They have scuppered my plans somewhat. Damn, that's not great.
Okay, they are starting to garrison the walls. Let's pick. Ground shot. With my mortars. This is going to be rough. You guys don't fire, Will. It's got two infantry units on the walls up here. No, oh, just the one. They aren't technically winning is not great. My infantry unit there is routing. Quick on the breach. You guys can fire what off. This goes in through the central square. I mean, it's nice of them to chase after my to chase after my unit back there. Kind of mortars to engage them. You guys hit that garrison militia. damage that single infantry unit because you don't really have on a hair you guys can actually avoid combat and run through the center hit the oh, some dangerously close quick climb shots there let's go back to round shot and start dropping them on this pilot's horse unit Actually, no, switch you guys onto quick climb and start going after that sixth. Sixth regiment of conscripts. Form square. Losing a lot of men trying to kill these poles. So form square is a quick bit of a, a bit of a. Uh, There's a bit of a hedge against these units coming in, and the remains of the general's bodyguard coming in. I mean, you guys try and run through the combat if you can. One regiment of line infantry there. So the square's pretty good because they're firing out in all directions. Yeah, Polish unit out there is routed. Switch you guys. Well, turn you guys off, fire at will. This could actually be fairly close up here. There's not many men. The Polish units are better than I. They are. I said this last time. Wait a minute, the Poles are surprisingly good in melee combat. So these guys, are gonna, their army is going to be. Their force is going to be pretty darn depleted. In the event of any follow up strikes. Oh, 
or the event of any follow-up combat. We need to patch ourselves up pretty convincingly. Someone mob these horse grenade guards, there are two of them, but chances are the rest of the garrison's probably gonna rout. So speed up time just a little bit. Yeah, it was quite costly assaulting these sections of the walls. Let's get you guys start to engage in. You guys hit the guys on the wall. You guys round shot the guys on the wall. Can everyone else just get into the fort? <laughs> End battle. That got much messier than I planned. Major city, so I mustn't uh, be too disheartened because the city is now ours and we are very thin on the ground. So immediate priority is to fix this and repair our possessions. Don't build the don't build walls uh, don't build roads yet. We don't want them to move around too easily. And let's destroy this this um, university because it's not needed. Let's rebuild this. You guys get over to Chiogia for repairs. Great engineer school. So we research light infantry doctrine, so I don't really want short on carbines, I want. Soon firing to get the plus one training level. And also to get down towards rifling. To be honest, we're making a reasonable amount of money. Not as much as I would like, but a reasonable amount. Okay, so you are almost ready. Because I am going to, at some point, launch the invasion of England. Because the R, well, Ireland, is an objective. So you've got Ireland, Egypt, Florida, and we've got some of these Indian territories. So that's just screaming out for an amphibious assault to hit Bengal and sprint up to Hindustan. But I'm tempted to do well, Dom, in this campaign because this is it's quite fun. Because once I get on to beating, once I beat Poland, I'll have Russia to beat, which is another big power. So you guys staying where you are. Well, I mean, I don't want to, but I might have to pull them back because they are quite vulnerable here to be to being surrounded. So let's see if I can get them out. Forward for crown and country. Or at least if I move them here, I might be able to intercept Mark. someone crossing over the bridge. Maybe. Kidoki clearances, all this sort of stuff's been sorted. Pirating the land, or well, raiding the land here. Ironmaster's work is good. Ah, yes, this force here at Athens. Okay, you can't completely replenish. Problem is now, uh, I've got a couple of armies. Well, I've got a couple of full stacks that aren't necessarily doing anything, but we're at peace with the United Provinces, and they're recruiting some cool units. Marina Corps, elite infantry. Grenadiers, lots of marines. But our main focus is to beat the Poles here in Central Central Europe. Push down here. Kind of carve like a bit of a bulge out down to the south. To some point we need you, Cairo. Uh, two captured regions. We've got some, some successful traits, agents. Roger Johnson mentioned in dispatches mentioned in dispatches plus one to morale, which is pretty neat. Oh yes, because we are at war with New Spain. Um, can't build up the troops to fight you here. 
what it will take. Is this army under Peyton Hawthorne that's been fighting the Americas consistently? No troops stationed at this fort. <laughs> As things stand, <sighs> it are they suffering from bankruptcy? Because it looks like they have no... It looks like they have no... Um, they have no income. Well, they're suffering from bankruptcy, but look at that. You see that and think, oh, that's a pr that could be a pretty big Settlement army. And you see that and go, oh no, that's that's an auto resolve right there. Victory! But what about you? I don't know what you've got. Spend the last amount of money replenishing here. Cool. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let's hop back over to Europe. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.